A century has passed since the first corneal transplant was performed in 1905. Ever since, surgeons have been innovating to make the procedure more predictable, reliable and easier to perform. One of the major issues with corneal transplantation has been good wound apposition. The development in microsurgical techniques and instrumentation has greatly enhanced the biomechanics of the host graft junction. However, this entails a long-term placement of corneal sutures. This itself is a cause of astigmatism, graft infection and subsequent failure. When the corneal button is sutured to the host cornea, this is the configuration of the host graft junction that is achieved. As we can see, this is not likely to be very secure as the opposing areas are actually thin edges. What if we could change the wound configuration to this? With this, we would be getting a lot more surface area to be opposed to each other, thus strengthening the bond between the host and donor cornea. With this objective in mind, we set out to modify the standard technique of keratoplasty. Let's see how we create the donor lenticule. We begin by taking a whole globe donor eye. An 8 mm suction trefine is used to create a 300 microns deep groove on the corneal surface. Using this groove as a guide, the cornea is dissected with a crescent blade in a lamellar fashion, 2 mm into the periphery. With this dissection, a superficial strip of cornea is created which is 300 microns thick and 2 mm wide. This strip of corneal tissue is excised. Subsequently, the full thickness corneal button is cut. We can see that now we have a donor button with a full thickness central 8 mm disc with a peripheral flange of 2 mm all around. Now we proceed to the creation of the complementary host surface. A partial thickness trephination of 7.5 mm diameter is done in the host up to a depth of 300 microns. A lamellar pocket is created up to the limbus all around with a crescent blade. The anterior chamber is entered and the host is cut full thickness and removed. As we can see, the host cornea has a pocket which is complementary to the shape of the donor flange. Now, the donor flange can be fitted into the pocket created in the host cornea. With these surgical principles in mind, let's see an example of an actual surgery. We start with the preparation of the donor lenticule. Partial thickness trephination of the donor cornea is done with an 8 mm trephine. We use this groove to dissect the cornea with the help of a crescent blade in a lamellar fashion, 2 mm peripherally, all around. The superficial strip of peripheral cornea of approximately 300 microns is excised. Subsequently, the full thickness corneal button is cut. We can see that we have achieved our objective of getting a button with a full thickness central 8 mm disc with a peripheral flange of 2 mm. Now we proceed to the creation of the complementary host surface. A partial thickness trephination of 7.5 mm is done in the host. A lamellar pocket is created up to the limbus all around with a crescent blade. The anterior chamber is entered and the host is cut full thickness and removed. The donor button is placed over the host bed. 
the flange of the graft is engaged with the needle of a 10O nylon suture and is tucked into the host pocket and the knot is tied. Sixteen interrupted sutures are placed to secure the graft to the host. With this peripheral intrastromal tuck, sutures can be removed as early as three months of surgery. With this technique, we are able to combine the benefits of a lamellar surgical procedure with those of a full thickness keratoplasty. The central part is a full thickness corneal button which confers the optical superiority of a penetrating graft. The wound configuration resembles a lamellar keratoplasty because of surface to surface apposition rather than an edge to edge apposition. This step leads to the strengthening of the bond between the donor and the host cornea.